Hi, <laughs> welcome back to another video. I'm very glad you joined me here today. In today's video, I just want to show you one of my very few finished sketchbooks. It took me ages to finish it. I think I started it in 2015 and yeah, as you can see, it's it's pretty wild and it's in a pretty bad state, but I have the bad, you'll see, I have the bad habit of gluing in loose snippets of paper and sketches just to keep them safe because I am like that. I lose things, especially drawings and sketches. So yeah, um, you'll see. <laughs> this is a barren fig. I really like it for sketching, but the paper is quite thin, so I wouldn't recommend it to all of you who like to work with paints uh, and, and watercolors and gouache, stuff like that in their sketchbooks. So if you want to do that, don't buy this one. But if you just want to stick to colored pencils and graffiti, this is a really nice sketchbook for you, especially since it has a case and I just like the format a lot. So yeah, let's just get started. The first few pages always are a little bit awkward because I never know what to do with them and especially the first pages meant to be drawn on are so intimidating. You'll see I have this very awkward spread. Um, so yeah, this is just a post stamp I wanted to keep safe because it's really, really cute. I don't know if you can see, it's Snoopy from the Peanuts and my very first pet. His name was Snoopy, it was a pet rabbit. I loved him so much. He actually became quite old and yeah, I don't know, it's just, it's just the thing I do. I like to have stickers in my sketchbooks. So yeah, here is the very awkward spread. It's just a quote from Hercules. I know every mile will be worth my while when I go the distance. I'll be right where I belong. I have no idea why I did this, but I still, up to this day, like this quote a lot. Because I think um, it's nice to to keep it in, in the back of your head, especially when you're in the creative business. It can be quite tough, but when you put in the work um, and are consistent, you will eventually end up where you want to be and where you belong. So yeah, this is just a very nice quote I like. Okay, <laughs> a friend of mine, she asked me to draw her favorite video game characters. These are from League of Legends, I think. Not in my style, but very fun to do. Don't judge. <laughs> and um, this is just an attempt um, on a self-portrait back in 2015. I actually shaved my head in, at one point. It, it looked really cool, I liked it and it was, unfortunately, it was a hassle because I looked wild every single morning and I simply did not want to blow dry my hair before school every single day. So I grew it out and this is the hair I ended up with. I really liked it but now my, after a few years my hair, of course, it's become quite long. Um, this is just a few whales, sketches, doodles. As you can see, like I told you, I just made some sketches and kept them safe by gluing them in. Um, these are just houses in the forest and this is a sketch I did. I think I actually transferred it um, onto another page to color it. An outfit from school and this one I can remember I made this in French class. I was terribly bored and I actually ended up liking it a lot. So did my French teacher. She asked me to draw something for her. <laughs> Not what I expected but yeah. Um, I would really like to redraw this because I think in my current style especially with colors would look really nice and it would be interesting to see what it would look like. As you can see, like I said, um, I transferred the sketch from earlier onto this page just so I can try out some markers. And this dragon um, I drew 
In the first night when I arrived in South Korea, I moved there for a while. I don't know if you can see, I think I used a ball pen or um, an ink pen, I don't know, I can't remember. But I can remember the house where I stayed for the very first few days. Um, really enjoying it and he actually asked me to draw something like that on his hand and he felt really cool after I did it so <laughs> it was really funny this was this is glued in as you can see this was for the entrance exam for university for art school in Hamburg in Germany and we were asked to illustrate an historic event and I chose to draw something about Marie Curie and I really love it. Unfortunately I will probably never see the finished piece ever again. I don't even know if, the, if my university um, can give it to me in the future but I would, I would just be really happy if I could have it back. I don't know though. Here I just wanted to explore drawing faces and my style. I really, really tried to force having a style back then, which really didn't work because I just ended up drawing the same faces over and over again because I tried to have a style before I even knew how faces worked. After a few weeks of trying, I just went back to drawing with references and life models, which really helped. This is my dad in my favorite cafe. It was a Christmas celebration and we had a lot of spice drinks and mulled wine. It was really cozy. <laughs> oh yeah, this I drew in a public library in Bukchon Hanok in South Korea. I got terribly lost there and I just tried to find my way back to the main road. But I ended up being in a public library. It was very hidden and very small and I can remember it being incredibly silent even though I was in the middle of a city. <laughs> All I heard were wind chimes, these very small ones made of glass. It was just really magical and I, I really wish I could go back there. I keep dreaming of it actually. It was really peaceful. And just some doodles of people. Ooh, this um these houses I made for the tiny house challenge I created with Ghost Puff, um, Mona, a very dear friend of mine. She did more prompts than I did, but we both did not finish our own challenge, our own prompt list, but a lot of you guys actually finished it and I'm so happy and so honored that you did this. It's amazing. <laughs> Uh oh, I think, <laughs> oh no, I think I need to fix my sketchbook. I'm going to lose all of the pages. This was a sketch, wait, let me show you. This was a sketch for the tiny house challenge. Um, I just wanted to draw a very very small inn in a foggy valley with a traveler in front of it and I came up with a story and I up to this day I really like the sketch but I never ended up actually working on it. Maybe I'm going to do it because right now it's October and it's the perfect time to draw rainy scenes and fields and I don't know I just I feel inspired to do it. I really like making these spreads with a lot of people on it. 
It's just very enjoyable. My tea dragon. This is a friend of mine, Vanessa. I visited her, I think it was my second time visiting her in her um, home city, Heidelberg. Very, very beautiful city. If you ever have the chance to visit it in Germany, just please do so. It's gorgeous. A humpback whale. I was inspired by someone, but I cannot remember um, who it was. So if you know, please let me know. These characters uh, I drew when I started playing, what was the name? Blade and Souls. It's an online game and you could make these characters with animal ears and they were so adorable. But unfortunately, now that I have a MacBook, I cannot play most of the games anymore, but I still listen to the music when I want to work. Wait, I'm going to give you a little close up. This is one of my favorite char characters. It's Oliver Rascal. It's just this very handsome bunny boy and he woos all the ladies. <laughs> mm. This I drew when I was in Hamburg in a very, very big city. I was studying there um, and I can remember being quite overwhelmed by all of the sounds and the cars and the people. It's just a very, very fast city in my opinion. And as a very calm and introverted person, this was a little bit too much and everything I wanted to do was go back home to just take walks in the forest. And this feeling inspired me to draw this, just resting in, in but under the trees and in nature, I don't know. Unfortunately, the pages come apart here. I don't really know how to fix it. Up to this day, this is one of my favorite illustrations. I think I actually edited it and put it on my Instagram. I don't know, I have to check. It's quite long ago. This spread is from the time when I visited Mona Gospa for the very, very first time. <laughs> and, you know, I live in a very small village and we don't really have art stores. And when I was in her town, she went to this very cool art store with me and there I saw all of these colored pencils for the very first time and I bought so many of them and then we sat down in a cat cafe. None of the cats paid any attention to us and did not want to be petted but it was really, the concept was really cool. Mm. And I tried out the pencils immediately. It's really cool. Of course I needed to do some graffiti art because of course colors were a little bit scary back then this is glued in as well and these are just some sketches very fast sketches i did when my father was visiting me in hamburg this is i think it's aurora the musician the singer i really really love her music and I was inspired to do this illustration. It's really cool. This spread is featuring Mona. She drew this little bunny lady in my sketchbook. And this used to be my profile picture on Instagram for the longest time. And then I grew bored of it because I started using colors and paints more and more and I just didn't feel like it represented my art a lot anymore so I came up with something new but I still like it I think I would redraw it somewhere in the future Ooh, this from earlier in the video as you can see the traveler with his horse and the tiny house 
Why did I never actually work on the illustration? I don't know. Like I said, I should probably do it. Somewhere this month. Above Bunny Boy. I glued in sketches. Oh yeah, I did these sketches uh, to apply for university in Aberdeen in Scotland. Oh boy, uh, I really did not enjoy Hamburg. I grew very, very unhappy and I did not enjoy going to classes there. It was simply, this school there um, might be great for some, but it simply was not a great fit for me. And I really wanted to study and study art, but I didn't feel good about this university. So I tried to get into other universities, but some things got in my way and it never ended up happening. I don't know if I missed something. I would have loved to go to Scotland to study, study because I really, I don't know, I think it's a really beautiful country. This is made with markers only and I messed it up terribly but I still wanted to keep it safe. Another spread with people, just with coloured pencils. I can remember this this part of my sketchbook being the hardest part to do because I think I made this in the last semester of university before I dropped out of art school. I f kind of felt like I lost touch with my creative voice, if you can call it that, and I lost my style because I was more and more focused on pleasing my professors, not doing what I liked and not exploring what what I really like, but just trying to please my professors so I could pass the class and finish university in under five years. Because Hamburg was very, very expensive and I don't know if I could have afforded to spend more than, I don't know, five and a half years there. So I just really wanted to finish university and I don't know, I really lost touch with art and I did not enjoy drawing anymore. And I wasn't even interested in art itself. I didn't want to see anything about it or hear anything about it. And it was really sad, but when I got back home, luckily <laughs> it came back, the inspiration came back and I slowly started to draw again. Mm, this was one of my first bigger jobs I had in Germany. It was really cool, it was a really fun project. Ooh. A little note from Alba. We had an art exchange and I think I sent her this little sketch and she loved it a lot so I drew so I dedicated a whole spread um, to her and worked on this idea a little bit more. This is one of my favorite spreads in the sketchbook because of course timber framed homes, uh, if you know me, <laughs> I have a thing for timber framed homes and medieval buildings and I glued in a little post-it with a part of my favorite poem by John Clare. It's called I Am. You should really check it out, it's beautiful. Now just some ideas for Instagram because I really wanted, I really cared about the numbers and I really wanted to grow my Instagram account so I asked a few friends who seemed to have figured it all out and they told me that I needed to redraw cha redraw challenges, the, the draw this in your style. I never did that. Maybe I should. <laughs> Maybe I should. But yeah, just some ideas. Ooh, this. Uh, these clothes here are heavily inspired by a very lovely brand called Fouriac. I actually don't know how to pronounce it. It's just the way I do it. 
I really like this illustration, let me show you. It's really, I really like it. I like bunnies, I like forests. So yeah, that's that. Now just some favorites from January. I don't know which year, 2019, 2018, probably 19. I can't remember. <laughs> Just some sketches and ideas here. I don't, I don't know if you can see it. Ooh, and I think I left my sketchbook outside during the night at one point. Oof. To do list and some ideas for stickers. One of my most popular stickers is this one actually this is the original it's the i can never have nice things you get it because it's a sun I can never have ice cream without melting it before being able to eat <laughs> yeah just some sketches here and there something that i glued in houses ideas and that's that's basically it so yeah it took me quite a long time to finish it like i said i started it in 2015 and then i was too busy in school to draw and all the time i had to draw was when i had breaks in between classes so it took me quite a while but i really hold this sketchbook dear because it shows the beginning of my artistic journey and now I am a freelance, a full-time freelance artist and I think I will really keep this sketchbook safe and look at it whenever I doubt myself because it really shows how I got here and I'm really, I must be honest, I'm proud. So yeah, this is it. I actually have all of the pages scanned in and available on my Patreon as a PDF. You can download it if you are a $5 tier. And yeah, if you are interested, I'm going to leave the link in my description box below. And until then, I'm going to see you in the next video.